So what we've got here is a couple of OpenMoco Neo Freerunners. Now this is an open source Linux based phone and uh, it's not quite ready for prime time yet. We would definitely not recommend going out and buying this as your primary phone. But it's pretty interesting because this project is all totally, uh, everything on this phone is customizable. Every single thing is customizable. Uh, From yeah. the base to the operating system to anything. You can create a game for it. are one of those that love to complain about my cell phone sucks and I can't do this and I can't do that. Well, get yourself a developer's book, some programming, right. you know, get the Linux base and then you can start working on your own phone. Now, the, this is definitely uh, early days for this phone. They, well, what uh, the makers of this OpenMoco have told us is that this phone, the hardware is basically there but the operating system is uh, you know, maybe 60% there. Let's take a look at the interface on that one and compare it, because it's, to it's a totally different lo look than what we've got on this other phone. Right, right. So there were three different types of operating systems that Neo has been working on for the last few months. This was the second version. There was an earlier version. We actually have a third phone here, but it's not turning on. Now, there's some things I like about the hardware. The screen is a gr good size. It's about the same size as an iPhone screen. Mm -hmm. And the shape actually... Uh, it's pretty interesting, I think. I, I think actually the shape comes across better in person than it does in the photographs I've yeah. seen of, of the Neo before. Because there's something about this. It feels a little bit like, I don't know, a bar of soap or something. But it's, uh, yeah. it's comfortable in the hand. Sort of cute looking. But just the, this design, I think this is a nice screen. Like you said, good touch capabilities. Although it does not have the multi-touch of the iPhone. So Single really, touch only. Exactly. So you, can only, you can't go into a map. You know, and pinch. And and pinch. There's no pinching in this one. Okay. Um, and check this out. There's a little hole here on the bottom. So if you want to like tie a strap onto it and hang it around your neck. And look like a dork. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah. <laughs> this is the icon for this, uh, for a GPS system. And as you can see, it immediately takes us to a location which is incorrect. We're not in <laughs> Tokyo. So what's the bottom line, Jose? Should I go out and buy one of these? And what's it cost? I think for us, I think we could buy one. It costs $400. But the bottom line is that this is a customizable you know, machine. You can customize everything from the casing to the operating system. Like we've said before, you could actually create like, you know, a casing of a rock or completely crystal or whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> I love the idea of a, of a Linux-based phone that's encased in rock because that way when it crashes and it doesn't boot up then at least you can still use the rock to like bash things open exactly <laughs> and don't you have like a rock in your pants always in order to throw at your colleagues <clears throat> uh no maybe that's just you jose i'm um, sorry <laughs> so not quite ready for consumers is what not quite ready for consumers but uh, another developer who takes this might take it and make it a little bit more consumer friendly i think that's what we're going to see uh, but the body, the systems, the guts of this thing is really special and I think the developers are going to love it and you could have, you know, a lot of the different applications are going to come out of this and it will benefit a lot of the consumers later on. Maybe not this year, but definitely in the next year. Cool.